Hey guys, so let's take a look at the drag and drop for your 10 amendments. So you'll see that the description, there's some that are blank, it says drag box or type letter. And then you have the descriptions here, okay? So just some tips on how to do the drag and drop. First, you'll look at the amendment. The picture kind of helps you on what that amendment is. And if you still can't remember, you can go back to the last slide the previous slide and you can watch that video in order to help you and you can go back and forth between those two slides if you need to so as far as once you know the correct description then you're going to go ahead and take it and you want to wait and hover over the description till you can see those four arrows just like you see on the screen okay and that will allow me to drag it to whatever box i think is correct so let's just say i thought that was the first amendment that i'm just going to drop it there okay now I can always do the undo button to make it go back or I can just drag it back with my mouse. Now some things people get tripped up on when they do the drag and drop is sometimes they'll just click it and um, they might click it to where these two arrows show up like on the corners. You don't want to do that because when you do that notice it's just changing the side of the box. It's not moving the actual box. Some people might find it easier to use the actual arrows on the keyboard. You can see I'm clicking the arrows. Um, to the side and down. So if that's easier, if you're on like a Chromebook or a laptop or computer, you can do that. But if you're in a situation where you're on a touch screen, you want to make sure that those four arrows appear. If you have just a cursor like that, it's not going to let you do anything. It's trying to change the words. We don't want that. So four arrows, just drag and drop. Now, if that's tricky, then notice each one has a letter. So like if I think right to bare arms, goes with the First Amendment, which it doesn't, don't put it there. I can highlight where it says drag and drop, I can backspace, and I can just type the letter A if that makes it easier for you guys. Good luck with the assignment. I know you're gonna do great.